Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning MySQL stored post tutorial for beginners. This is our part number 16. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about basics of commands of MySQL stored processor. So in our previous video sessions, it means up to part number 15, we have created several types of stored processor with different different conditions. As well as we have seen about the conditional statements, as well as we have seen about the concept of cursor and the looping statements. Now here, inside this video, we are to discuss about some basic commands. Actually, we need to know while listing of any MySQL stored processor or if we want to see about the source code of any created stored processor. So if we go to the next slide. Now inside this slide, here I have written a topic something called find stored processor in MySQL database. So let's say that we have or PHP my admin as we can see and let's say that here we have several databases now inside all these databases let's say that this database contains three MySQL stored processor this will contain two MySQL stored processor and inside this let's say that it contains five stored processor now I want to list all the stored processor basically our PHP my admin contains so how can we list all the stored processors actually we have created so far. So for that, this is the command actually we need to use. So let's say so processor and status. These are the, these are the predefined keywords actually we need to type. So if I copy this command, back to phpMyAdmin, go to SQL tab. Now if I putting it here and press Control enter to run this command. Now after running that, as we can see that here we have created or inside our PHP my admin we have multiple stored processors actually behind the scene created. These are the stored processors are not of any specific database. This is from multiple databases or all the databases actually this PHP my admin contains. So right here as we can see that DB is called to learn underscore code igniter. So these all four actually our stored processes are inside this database. Now inside our learn underscore data table as we scroll down these all are from that database and finally we have inside sys we have called create underscore synonym underscore db. So as we can find that by typing this command actually so processor status it will list all the stored processors actually in our PHP my admin all the database contains. So the statement says that to list all the stored processors of the databases that we have the privilege to access. Let's say that in our PHP my admin we have several types of users in which the user permissions has been defined. Let's say that one user is only for the delete operation, other is user is only for the insert as well as for the update operation and a particular user has no privilege to access that database. So according to the privilege of access actually we can list all the stored processor from all of the databases. Now in case if we want to list all the stored processor from a particular database, so how can we list that? So in that condition, we have to use this command something called so processor status where db equal to this. It means database equal to database name. So if I copy this command back to our PHP admin and if I go inside the SQL tab, pasting here and let's say that I'm going to list all the stored processors from the database something called learn underscore let's say data table. Now if I press enter, now as we can see that inside this list all the stored processors are listed from this database what actually we have specified inside where condition. So to check that if I go here click on learn data table ok and inside this routine section as we go down then these are the stored processors so far we have created that. Now while using this command actually what we have seen if I again copy go to PHMI admin open a duplicate tab so let's say duplicate go to SQL tab or inside this localhost SQL tab pasting it here and let's say learn underscore data table. Now if I press enter now all the stored process as we can find here what we have created so far inside this playlist. 
Now if I back to slide, now let's say that if we want to search our stored procedure on a, cert on a certain or a particular pattern, what basically it means? It means that let's say that we have a stored procedure the name something called gate cursor data. Now inside this name we have a cursor. Now we want to find the stored procedure where the name contains the keyword something called cursor. So this is called a pattern. So if I go here, copy this command, go again back to browser and if I go to SQL tab and paste this command here and let's say that, let's say cursor and also we want that database let's say db equal to and let's say learn underscore data table. Now if I press enter. Now as we can see that inside this learn data table database this is the pattern actually we have passed and it will match actually with all the stored processors inside this database and it has given this result. Now let's say that if we want to search all the stored processors basically contain this data keyword. So again back, back here click on edit end line. And let's say that instead of cursor, I want all the stored processor from this database which contains the keyword something called data. Now if I press go button, now all these stored processor something called get cursor data, get loop data and get user data by ID. These all stored processors contain the keywords something called data. So this was our first slide actually where if we want to find our stored processor in our MySQL databases, so these are the beneficial commands. So if we go to the next slide, now inside this slide, let's say that if we want to see the source code of any created stored processor, so how can we see the source code? So if I copy this command, go inside phpMyAdmin, go to SQL tab, pasting it here, or if I go inside this database, go inside SQL tab and let's say that inside this database we have something called get cursor data. This is what actually we have made the stored processor. Now if we want to see the source code, the first way either we can edit or see the source code directly inside this body section. Now let's say that if we want to generate the code by phpMyAdmin, so how can we make use of the command? So copy the stored processor name, go here and let's say so create processor. This is the first command that we need to write and inside here we need to pass our stored processor name. So this is the name something called get cursor data. Now if I press go button, now as we can see that here we have called create processor command but right now it is not full. So go to options, click on full text, press go. Now if I scroll here, as we can see that inside create processor column, we have all the create processor command actually behind the scene the phpMyAdmin generated. So by the help of this command actually we can understand that how phpMyAdmin generates the code for any created stored, stored processor behind the scene. Now if I back to slide, now let's say that we have several number of stored processors in our database. Now if we want to drop any stored processor, so how can we drop using command? So this is the command actually we need to follow to drop any stored processor from any of the database. So the command is called drop processor if accessed and the processor name. So if I copy this command, back to phpMyAdmin, go to SQL tab, pasting it here. Now let's say that I am to delete let's say get task points. This is a stored processor I am to delete from this database. So go here and I am passing this parameter or the stored processor name here. Also you can delete right here as we can click on this drop button. Now here if I go here and press control enter or the go button as we can see that successfully we have dropped our stored processor. Go to the list, reload this page. Now as we can see that inside this list, get task points does not exist. If we back to slide, now the final command actually we need to learn about that 
how actually we can call a stored processor. So the same syntax we need to follow. Actually we have used these commands in our starting videos of this playlist. Now if I copy this command back to phpMyAdmin, go to SQL tab and I am going to pasting it here. So call as a keyword and here we have to pass the stored processor name. So let's say that get all books I am going to run. So copy that, pasting it here and press go button. Now if I click go button, as we can see that our stored processor is running and after running that, it has given such type of result. If you go at the body section, so just click on edit and as we can see that this stored processor basically selecting all the data from our tbl underscore users table. So by the help of this command called call stored processor name, we can execute any stored processor or either go here and just click on execute button. So these are the basic commands actually we need to understand inside this MySQL stored processor tutorial. So these are the commands by the help of this actually we can find our stored processor in our MySQL databases or any of the particular database or these are the concepts also. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.